Hi, well, wait. Hi, welcome to a weird video that I'm taking in the middle of my great room. Um, because I'm prepping for the Capitol Audio Fest in Washington, D.C., which, believe it or not, hasn't happened yet. It's actually happening this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 5th, 6th, and 7th of November 2021. This is a live, like, it's a fast video. I'm filming it today. It's coming out tomorrow. And I'm telling you all that I'll be attending the Capitol Audio Fest. Now, Capitol Audio Fest, someone was confused. And they're like, what is it, Zio? It's like, how is it? Is it Can Jam? If you've ever been to a Can Jam, this is not a Can Jam. This is more like a small mini RMAF. And if you've never been to RMAF, it's basically speakers that you can't afford in many, many, many rooms of a hotel. And then dotted throughout the hallways is like headphones and things that you might be able to afford, but I highly doubt it. It's basically a place you go to rub um, elbows with people who are just spending way too much on audio equipment or to the, the reason I like going to these sorts of shows is because I go there and I sit in a room and they've got $40,000 speakers set up with $50,000 amplifiers and $40,000 DACs and you listen to it and you go, my fucking bathroom sounds better than this shit, which happens more often than it should. But that's kind of the fun part. It's like, oh, okay, I don't have to worry about this. But then you find that one thing that's like exceptional and you just want to you want to just dive head first into like a $70,000 set of your giant wall size planar magnetic electrostats and just like, uh, yeah, there's, there's a thing. It's a plan. They literally have planar magnetic tweeters and some have electrostats. It's wild. Anyway, um, this video is just to announce that I'm going. So if you want to see me there, I'll just we'll be, I'll be there somehow. We'll figure it out. I'm actually staying at the hotel across the street and I wanted to show off the things I'm bringing because there's like, there's a secret chat that's just people that are organizing. They, what I'm figuring this is gonna be like, cause I actually haven't done it in this sort of way. I said an Airbnb last time, is the show's gonna go on for whatever the show goes on, you know, 9 a.m. till six or five. And sometimes there's stuff hanging out. If you find the right people, you talk to the right people, people wanna hang out after the show in their rooms. The companies are pretty cool. People are like, hey, you wanna hear this? You wanna hear this? Wait till the show ends, we'll come back, blah, blah. Um, but the hotels, I'm thinking it's going to be more like a dorm situation where people are all organizing to bring things. Hey, what haven't you heard? I'll bring that. Oh, you have that? Oh, I haven't heard that. I'll bring this. And so what I'm planning on bringing to the Capital Audio Fest to set up in the hotel room so people can listen to it. Uh, you haven't seen the review of this yet. It actually just hit the Patreon today, Monday the 1st, um, the Shanling EM5. Wait. How perfect is that? And the review of this is on Patreon, like I said. It'll probably come out in the next couple days because I'm running low on reviews. And I'm going to do a couple tonight after this video. So I have a buffer so I could do every other day videos. But yeah, the Shanley M5 is coming as my main music source slash... DAC slash Bluetooth in and out. It's what, wait till you see the review of that. But I could also USB my laptop in it, or it'll take a USB hard drive. This thing is fucking bizarre. And it's actually not that expensive. You'll be shocked when you see the price tomorrow or the day after this on Z Reviews, the review of the Shanling EM5. Um, and going with me there, because I'm Zeos, it's got to be the uh, VMVA1, which is the Class A 10 watt per channel speaker amp that just happens to have a quarter inch output on the back for headphones. So I'll take that. And if I'm taking speakers, I, I, I did a lot of soul searching and I was either taking the brand new Buchart S400 Mark IIs, which is an expensive pair of, head, of speakers, headphones. If you wear them close enough, they're, they're headphones. But they're an expensive pair of speakers, and I don't want to feel like leaving those things in my, my room while I'm not there. So then I was like, wait, I'll take the Swan M300 Mark IIs, which no one can buy, and are $900 and are self-powered, then I don't need an amp really for the self-powered aspect. And then I'd probably get arrested, because holy fuck, I set those back up in the basement, and they get so loud. But they're so good. Mm. I would love to bring them into the actual uh, Capital Audio Fest. I wonder what a room would cost for Z Reviews and Hi-Fi Guides to do a Capital Audio Fest. I should have looked into it. This was sort of like a last minute thing that I decided to actually go. But the rates for the hotel across the street aren't bad. Um, and then I'm like, all right, you know what? 
Mica RB42s, which are a $150 pair of speakers, um, connected with these, by the way, Zeos, like these. I love these. These are RCA to banana plug adapters, so I could use my uh, enormous RCA supply just to feed them off the amp. And the stands they're on, here's a fun story. You, these look fucking fantastic right now. I'm in linear, so it should be a little bit more zoom than normal. I'll try not to bounce my head around. But those are Bucart stands, and they were sent to me by mistake. You see, I had a problem with one of the tweeters on the uh, S400 Mark IIs. And so Maz himself put in an order to have a tweeter sent to me. And Maz's brother, I think, accidentally sent me a set of their speaker stands, which is like $500 but they're perfect to take to like an audio show because if I pick this up, um, they weigh nothing. They're just three legs that screw in on a metal plate. And while I'm not saying these aren't worth $500, they look fucking fantastic. But they don't quite have the height for the RB42, so I'm actually taking also a set of Soundrise stands, the smaller ones, which will give me the height and the angle. So these are what, $100 a pair? And these are $500 a pair, so I have $600 speaker stands for a $150 pair of speakers. And I feel like that's the most Z-Reviews thing that's ever been done. So $660 Class A holoed uh, amp being fed from an $850 do-everything fucking machine. Um, I've got these APC power uh, conditioner. Just because I needed a splitter, because I'm figuring in the room I'm gonna be pretty, pretty fucking uh, lost on power. So I have one, I have that hospital grade power cord. You can't go wrong with the hospital grade power cord. Look at this thing, that 15 foot monster. Into this, into these two little one footers, into each one of these. And then I bought the, uh, or I brought the Eminence world's best screw in RCA. So they just look cool. I'm gonna do a video at some point, because I have video ideas coming out my ass. I just have to actually sit down and do them. Where I talk about a lot of this hobby, and the hobby of being audio, isn't just ears, it's eyes. It has to look the part. If it looks the part, in your brain you're like, oh, that's better. I know that's better, because it looks better. That looks like a $2,000 DAP portable player sort of thing but it's not, it's actually, for what it does, relatively cheap, and for how it sounds, relatively cheap. And so this'll be my, my source. It has this built-in balanced amplifier. If I hit play, I plug in something into there, like we got, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to show these specifically now, but these are not the normal pads I have on my KPH30i clears. These are Dakoni Grado pads. Shh, working on them. Oh. Come to my... And if I unplug this, and then it's going back to the speaker amp, and then I hit that, now I've got the Tim Socks. I'm gonna bring a couple of headphones that no one's heard. No one's heard the Tim Socks. I want actual audiophiles to understand that this $2,000 pair of headphones exists, and they should probably own a set. So it's gonna be like, Everybody wants to rule the world. So yeah, I'm gonna bring a couple headphones that no one's ever heard. Um, a couple IMs maybe that haven't been heard. I'm certainly bringing the Zeus because this is the one headphone that I know. No one's gonna buy it until they fucking hear it. So that's sort of like me doing my normal pimpage. Make a most of. This thing has a weird reaction when you switch between the front and the back. I'm gonna get used to it by the end of the thing. I got a little Polaroid here of Chewbacca. She's gotta come along. She'll be there, not just in spirit, but in print. Um, I'll bring in a bunch of the heart audio cables and connectors and adapters in case I gotta plug anybody else's headphones into this stuff, even though I should have most of them. So yeah, basically, this plastic table, oh, the reason I'm set up on a plastic table here is I've attended a lot of um, LANs, like PC LANs. So you take your computer apart, you go play video games, like Counter-Strike 1.5 with your buddies, you sleep under a table, eat nachos for like two days straight, three days straight. You know, it's a thing, it was a thing. And I always used to do this. I used to take my computer off my desk, set it up somewhere else in my house 
to make sure I had my mouse pad, all the wires I needed to turn everything on. Shit, I forgot my entire fucking blah, blah, blah. So doing this and setting it up here is sort of like my pregame to make sure that, oh, I'm not gonna get, you know, four hours away and I forgot blah and I gotta go to Best Buy. I'm not doing that. So I do this to make sure I've got everything I might need. Set up balance cables in case someone wants to, you know, plug their amp into here, this, or this, 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 and that, good. Anyway, here, Capital Audio Fest website, linked in the description below. November 5th to the 7th, and twi at Twinbrook Hilton, Rockville, Maryland. The rooms of the Twinbrook Hilton are all booked up. They're booked up like as soon as the show is announced, because a lot of the vendors get rooms there. So it's very hard to get rooms in the in the actual Twinbrook Hilton, but the Even Hotel, not the Evan. The Evan sounds fancy. No, 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 no. Even. Whatever. Even Hotel. Um, that's where I'll be staying. So yeah, feel free to message me on Telegram in the Z Reviews chat. By the way, wallpaper available in the description. So feel free to message and be like, hey, Zeos, you're around or you know, you want to get food? Because I guarantee there'll be a group of like 27 people following me around that want to go all get dinner at some point. Um, either Friday, Saturday, probably not Sunday. Sunday, I'm basically throwing up the shit in my truck and I'm going home. But um, yeah, just wanted to give you like a little brief. I'm probably, it's still, it's only Monday. I'm not like packing up finally till Thursday. So there might be one or two additions, certainly in the headphone realm. Certainly I don't have any IMs here. I'm, I'm gonna take the uh, Dunu Zens so I can make people cry about how noisy their amplifiers are. But yeah, no, like the Flirk, like I have to bring a Flirk. Could I bring a Flirk for my laptop? I'll link a Flirk in the description. This is all just excuses to make links for all these things. Um, the speaker amp has a remote. That doesn't, that has a remote app. And then I'm gonna bring this little thing because I know someone wants to try this. Little tiny things I'll throw into a bag and be like, look, do you wanna try this? Do you wanna try the little DD Hi-Fi 44B or 48B? What, do you even have a number on you? Yeah, yeah, the TC44B. This thing sounds amazing. So, bring in laptop, bring in headphones, bring in that as the main source, bring in this, bring in mica RB42s, because goddamn it, everybody needs. Wow, nothing but hits. Oh, by the way, this has an SD card slot, so I just, and there we go. And it's got the cool VU meters. Anyway, that's it. There's a short video today on Z Reviews, because I'm just basically prepping to leave, or prepping to prep? to leave, it's good, it's good advice I can give. It's like, hey, if you're going somewhere and you wanna set up like a little thing, don't think you could just yank it off your desk last minute and you're gonna have everything, you're gonna fuck it up. I fucked it up constantly. You know what the worst thing was? When you didn't remember a mouse pad. Like maybe I'll bring a mouse for my laptop because I don't, I hate, I hate touch, I hate touch pads. Anyway, oh, and here's a bunch of other cables and random power cords, there's an extra power cord in case this one can't go right here, in case it has to be further away. Shit like that. Anyway, Capital Audio Fest. Who's going? They also have apparently a Pacific Audio Fest. I'm not flying across the country. If I can drive, I'll do it. I'm gonna probably do Can Jam 2022 in New York. Um, there is no more RMAF. And uh, just support my channel and wait till there's ads on Hi-Fi Guides because then we might actually be able to afford to do something like this in the future. This is like the first one that I've actually wanted to go to in a while. Because I like it, it's small, it's intimate. It's one hotel, it's like two floors. You get a little lost, but you always have good places to eat around there. Because Maryland slash DC have amazing restaurants. And yeah, and uh, maybe I'll see you there and maybe I won't. By the way, I get to wear a mask. I get to wear a goddamn mask. I get to wear a mask the entire time. It's gonna be fantastic. I wear my V for Vendetta mask and I'm gonna go walk around and people are gonna be like, are you Zeos? I'm gonna be like, no. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. So I'll see you there. And I gotta go download this video so I can upload it for tomorrow and then make videos in the basement. So, bye, bye.